One last chance to make a splash with voters before Election Day. Congressman Tom Reed and challenger Nate Shinagawa square off in their final debate, and they didn't disappoint when it came to the fireworks. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laura Queso. And I'm J.B. Buno. Thanks for joining us here on the Late Edition in High Definition. It was a packed house tonight at the Clemens Center as voters were ready to hear what the candidates had to say about the issues facing not just the southern tier, but also the country. And Congressman Tom Reed and Nate Shinagawa have debated a few times in the past few weeks but tonight was their last opportunity to sway the vote in their favor. WENY-TV's Joe Melillo was in the Clemens Center tonight and joins us here on the desk. Joe, what was the atmosphere like in there tonight? Well, uh, Lauren, JB, I must say it was actually pretty tense. A lot of clapping and cheering for both sides. Uh, even though at the beginning the debater, uh, the, the moderators kind of told the audience to kind of settle down because they wanted to get as many questions in as, as possible. As for the candidates, now that was a different story. They, they, it, there was no clear-cut winner, but there was some very tense moments throughout. Here, let, let's take a look. What Congressman Reed is talking about today is a lot of talk. It's a lot of committees that he's on, it's a lot of letters that he's written, but in terms of actual work that needs to be done, we haven't seen that from him or his Congress. When my opponent talks about doing something about health care, let us not forget what my opponent stands for. He does not believe Obamacare went far enough, ladies and gentlemen. He's a strong advocate for a single-payer system. This back and forth, calling each other out on everything, went on all night. Questions submitted by community members and neighbors touched on a lot of major issues, such as why Congress seemingly can't pass a budget on time, should there be cuts to FEMA, and education. But an issue that stood out was about how each candidate plans to create jobs in the southern tier. Is we need to actually fight to make sure that we have a budget that actually finds ways to expand job growth, especially along the lines of manufacturing and supporting our small businesses. But we also need to deal with our debt and deficit. We have to tackle this national debt because we have to bring certainty and confidence back to the American market so that they know that the world markets know that we are getting our debt under control. We have to do comprehensive tax uh, reform. Our tax code is antiquated. It's 70,000 pages of provisions. It uh, needs to be simplified. It became clear throughout the debate that Shinigawa was in attack mode, bringing up Reed's record during every response. Reed was able to counter. And though there were a lot of fireworks, both candidates were able to present their agenda to voters. So that's it for these two. There's been a lot of back and forth, not just for the, in the debates, but also in the media. The only thing left this weekend is the campaigning and then the election on Tuesday.